Hello and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. I'm AC and today I get to walk you through this beautiful 2022 Newmar Essex. This is the 4578 floor plan, which means it's a bunk model, which I'll show you here uh, briefly. Uh, if you currently have a bunk model coach, if you're trying to upgrade or if you're tired of the horsepower that's in your bunk model right now, uh, the Essex and the King Air both offer uh, bunk models and they get a 605 horsepower Cummins with 1,950 foot-pounds of torque. Plenty of horsepower and torque to get you up through the mountains here in Colorado or wherever you may be. Uh, it's a wonderful option. Um, if you have any questions, we do have a 2022 King Air bunk model as well. Um, so if you have any questions of that, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start up here in the front. Just kind of do a walkthrough. It's going to be a little different than normal because it's really windy outside. So I figured I would start on the interior. So no flux capacitor as of yet. We will focus on this, this interior. Uh, this coach has the Riviera exterior, which you may have seen already. Uh, and you will see again when we walk out outside. But I uh, want to point out a couple of things in this model. This has the two captain's seats that are heated and cooled. Both have massage features on there. Be careful if you're driving, don't get too comfortable and fall asleep. I'm going to shut this door. Keep some of that noise outside. Uh, this does have the co-pilot or backseat driver camera. As I like to point out here, you have navigation, you have your camera, you've got um, your, your radio. You can actually do quite a few on this, few things on this setup. You've got dual climate control. So the passenger actually has their own controls over the heat and cooling on their side of the coach. You're gonna have your map light, your ceiling light, your step cover, which I'm gonna close right now so you can see. So it's got a full step cover here so your feet aren't dangling over the steps while you're going down the road. We've got our visor control and our patio light. Uh, right back here on the other side of that tray, there's a wireless phone charging pad. And then obviously you have your table right here, cup holder. I'm going to go ahead and bring in this step cover. Both of these seats do swivel around, give you additional space, uh, living space here. If you have guests over, if you've got company, you want to have a nice living area, you swivel both of these seats around. Uh, but while I'm up here, let me point out a few other things here. Here is the captain's uh, AC controls here. This HVAC override, if you want to freeze your passenger, you can hit this override and that'll allow you to control both sides. It's a nice feature, or if you happen to be by yourself, they left the heat on and you don't want to reach all the way over there, you can turn that on and then access it through here. Here we're going to have our visors and shades, our entry lock, our generator on and off, courtesy lights. So that's if you're going down the road and somebody lets you pass by, go around them, you give them the old thank you with your courtesy lights. Uh, you have the dock, docking lights here, your overhead fans, low, medium, and high control, and then your front fan. Okay, I'm going to scoot over here to the driver's side, point out a few features here. Up here we're going to have our Kirk Spectrum integrated brake controller, which this one was ordered with. We have our mirror controls and they are heated. So this is your heat on and off for your mirror controls. We have a wireless charging pad on this side as well. You've got your emergency parking brake, your lights, your dimmers for your dash, your outside lights here, your dome lights. And then this has actually your auto, your headlights will automatically come on and you can actually cancel that if you want to turn that off so that they don't come on automatically. You're going to have your uh, traction control over right here, your window, your air horn, or your wake the neighbor horn, as I like to call it, and then your your battery boost here. So this is where you would merge your batteries. If you leave the coach on, the lights on, the chassis batteries start to go uh, low, you can actually hold this down and it'll merge the batteries together to help you get on the road. 
This does have three uh, memory settings for your seats. I always recommend setting one of these uh, so that when you get out, uh, you push the button, it'll adjust your seat forward so that it makes it easier to swivel around. So anytime you're gonna swivel your seat, you wanna make sure it's far enough forward that it'll allow you to turn it. So I usually, uh, I would recommend setting one of these for that purpose. Here on the left side, we're gonna have our hydraulic leveling system. Really easy to, to, to use here. You have auto level, auto store. You can dump the, do a manual dump on the air. And then you can see it'll, it'll light up wherever uh, it's not level and tell you where, you where you need to be a little bit more off. And then you can always cancel. Six speed Allison, this is a 4,000 uh, Allison model and this, these bigger high end coaches with the 605 horsepower, you get a 4,000 versus a 3,000 Allison. Push button, you've got your tag dump, auto and manual. You've got a three stage engine brake here, so you would turn it on here and you have low, medium and high. Under here, if you can see, we've got some USB ports for the driver's side. You got two there and then you have additional USB with an auxiliary cable as well. And then the nice little map pocket there if you're still using maps. Okay, now on the dash, a couple things I wanna point out on the dash here. Everything is controlled with your push button on the steering wheel here. This does have a, TP, uh, a tire pressure monitoring system, which will allow you to see where you're at with, on all of your tires. Adaptive cruise control, as you can see, is disabled at this moment. This is where you would also adjust your comfort drive. So right here, your comfort drive, again, you can set comfort drive from one to five, and this is where you would set that. Okay. You're also gonna have all your primary gauges up here. You're gonna have your fuel, your temperature, your oil pressure, and then your primary and secondary air gauges, and then obviously your DEF on this one as well. So anything 2012 and newer is gonna have DEF, diesel exhaust fluid. Uh, if you have a diesel engine. So you wanna keep an eye on that gauge. If it starts to go too low and you ignore it, it will put you into a limp mode to help protect the engine and keep you from causing any major damage. As you can see up on this front windshield, we do have the mobile eye system. So this does have the adaptive cruise. Um, so you can set it. It has lane departure. Your seats will actually vibrate if you start going out of your lane, just to kind of wake you up a little bit. If you have that massage going on your seat and you're too comfortable, it will uh, kind of let you know that you're getting out of your lane. So everything's super simple. Push button, uh, start on these. I'm gonna leave it off just because we're inside talking and I don't, it's not super loud, but we'll keep it as quiet as we can in here. Okay, up here in our overhead compartment, We've got our wine guard system. We've got our awnings. This does have the Gerard Nova awning package. It's a little windy outside, so I will not be pulling those out for you guys today, but they are on there. We have plenty of other videos uh, where you can see those. Uh, you got your satellite system, your security sensors, and as we walk through here, this does have some motion sensors inside. Uh, your passenger window, your window awnings, your privacy drapes, all the way across through here, you have your security lights, passenger and driver. You can have your slide out controls here, your exterior LED lights, your entry step on and off, so you can shut that uh, the steps off at the entry level so that when you open the door, they don't come in and out, they can stay in or out. You can program or turn them off. And then your Wi-Fi router on and off here. This little port here is for the techs to plug into it and see if there's any kind of codes, anything they have to troubleshoot. And as you can see from right here, this coach was ordered with solar prep. On our main touch screen here, you're gonna have several buttons. Your home screen is gonna show your tank levels and your battery levels. You have AC power, it's gonna show you what you're drawing. This does have a 3000 watt inverter and eight house batteries. DC power here is your generator controls. You can turn it off and on right here. You can also set your auto gen start from this section uh, so that you can set program your heat 
uh, your air conditioning. Uh, you can program it so when the uh, battery voltage gets to a certain point, it'll automatically turn on and charge your batteries. It's a really cool feature, keeps you from getting in trouble. From the water uh, button here, you can get to your water pump on and on. You can hit your auto fill. And again, it shows you all your tank levels. Climate, you can adjust your cool, heat, and auto. Uh, if you want to just set a temperature on auto, it'll use obviously the ACs or the heating system to keep you at that temperature. You've got four different zones here. You've got the living room, the kitchen, the bathroom, and the bedroom. You've got a block heater and floor heat with three different zones. You've got a camera and you can toggle through all the different camera views outside. You have your lights and your shades, your door locks, a basic configuration button, gives you all of these options here. You really want to stay out of that unless you know what you're doing or you've had some help. Right there you can lock an arm and then unlock it. Okay, we'll go back to home. It's pretty simple. Um, again, don't let this stress you out. I know there's a lot to it. We can do a full video on just the um, system there. If you purchase a coach from us, we do a walkthrough with you. We show you how to do the different uh, programming, all the systems, show you how to use your coach, whether it's your first or your 10th one. There's always questions that come up. Plenty of storage up front. You can see we have soft closing uh, drawers and doors. Up here, you're gonna have your additional storage. You've got your Wi-Fi Ranger. Again, some more additional storage. All right, when we get here to our KIV system panel, we're gonna, you're gonna find these throughout the coach. They're all gonna have basically the main, uh, the, same, the same items on them. So you're gonna have your, on your home screen, you're gonna have lighting, shades, fans, systems. Uh, let's say we want to bring up the TV. We're going to go to systems. We're going to do TV up. And that will bring up the televator. You can turn on the water pump from this panel. You can turn on and off the generator. Just makes it really easy so you don't have to walk from one end of the coach to the other to, to access certain things. All right, now that the TV is up, I'm going to go ahead and lower the TV. Go back to the home screen. You're going to have your shades on here. So if you want to lower, now depending on which KIB panel you're at, it will let you access certain shades. So this one's going to allow you to pull down the shades in the kitchen and living room areas. Right now, I'm bringing down all of the day shades. And to bring them back up, you just push the same button twice. All right. One of the things I want to point out on here, which is one of my favorite features of the Essex, is this theater mode. You can access it from a couple different panels. If you hit the theater mode, it's been a long day, I just got home, I'm ready to relax. I'm gonna hit theater mode. It's gonna do a few different things. It's gonna dim all the lights, as you can see, and it's gonna bring down all the shades and pop up the television here. Super cool. It's time to watch a football game, it's time to watch a movie, just kinda unwind. Theater mode is where it's at. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to my shades. Oh, let's see here, actually. There we go. Now we're bringing back up all the shades. We can turn on the lights on the same panel. Go to lighting. There is an all lights on and all lights off. So now we're gonna turn the lights back on and kind of go through some of this cool furniture that we have in here. So this was ordered 
with the sofa sleeper. I'm gonna show you that right there. So there's a sofa sleeper that comes out. This has bunks, bunk beds and it also has a sleeper under here. Super soft material. You also have underneath there, you have some nice little leg rest. So you don't have to carry the ottomans. You just do the, the foot rest from there on this side. This side's gonna be a jackknife sofa. So again, if you've got multiple people staying with you, you got the bunks, you have the jackknife, you've got the sofa sleeper. And these also have your foot rest. All right, overhead cabinets. We got a, a lot of storage in this coach. I love the windows as you can see a lot of natural lighting. You got six overhead cabinets on the driver's side here in the living area. Now, as you can see, when I turn all the lights on, it didn't hit, it didn't actually turn on everything. You can turn on your dinette lights here, all your accent lights, your wall lights, and your courtesy lights. This was ordered with the booth dinette. This table does slide out. There's two additional chairs under the bed. So it does give you additional sleeping or a seating, I should say. Your Essex will come with a Samsung tablet. Allows you to run all your functions, all, everything that you can on your touchpad, you can run on here. You can also download the MyRosy app on your phone and that will allow you to use certain functions as well. As you can see, we have a high gloss floor on this one. This is high gloss porcelain tile. We have an induction cooktop. We also ordered this coach with the window right here in the galley area. So you have a lot of natural lighting there. As with most new Mars, besides the King Air, the induction cooktop is removable. The sink is in the shape of the new bar logo, in case you hadn't noticed. Really nice faucet, one touch faucet here. Everything is winterized at the moment. Uh, in case you're wondering where these go, if you're, if you want to store them, uh, right here, we actually have a spot for your covers. Little trash can, soft closing drawers. There you go. Nice little spice, spice rack here. I like that they do that, they pull these out. Uh, makes it easy to get to all of your, your items that you're storing in here. You have an additional shelf up top. Here is the, everybody's favorite drawer, your remote drawer. You got a couple of remotes in here. This is for your Bose system, your sound bars, all your TVs, your sleep number. And of course, everybody's gotta have some touch up paint cause you know you're gonna ding some stuff up. <laughs> this will become your best friend. Under here, oh, there's a dishwasher. How do you open it? You knock on it. Oh, actually the power's off. The inverter's off because the generator's off. Let me turn that on. Guess you can keep on knocking, but you can't come in. There we go. We'll give that inverter a minute to kick on and then I'll come back to that. One thing I want to point out in this pantry, 
first of all, it's really a ton of storage in here. These are really deep drawers. One thing to point out here, dovetail construction here. There's no staples, really high quality build. On this side here, if you can come around, I'm gonna show something that's new on these 22s. This right here is a locking system that when you uh, put it in drive, it's gonna lock these so these don't open. Okay, this is gonna lock this up. It's kind of a backup so that all your stuff doesn't fly out while you're going down the road. Really nice feature. It's on all the pantry drawers. We've got a residential fridge. Here's your freezer. Does have an ice maker, ice tray here, and a lock so that everything doesn't open while you're going down the road. We get to the bunks. Your kids can fight over who gets the top bunk, who gets the bottom bunk. I guess you can make them flip for it. As you can see in here, we're gonna have some, we have our shades, our lights, 110 outlet right there and same on the bottom plenty of spots for them to plug in use their ipads or phones only nice thing about this bunk model is right across from the bunks you're going to have a little closet area so you can hang up their clothes Again, soft closing. Let me turn on the lights in here. All right, now I'll step out so you can see. They'll have their own bath. Plenty of storage in there. Medicine cabinet. and a single sink. Now we have their bathroom. They don't have to keep knocking, come into mom and dad's room. Here's your central vac connection here. That's where you hook up your hose. We do have a privacy door here to separate both rooms. And then we come into the master bedroom. On this wall here, we're going to have our slide out control, our awning control here for your window awnings. And then you're going to have another silver leaf panel here with all of the same features as the one up front. So if you hear noise, you can get out of bed and flip through your cameras and see if your kids have snuck out or if somebody's trying to break in. Okay, again, you can have, you can do your, your lights, your shades, everything you could do on that front panel, you can do from this silver leaf control. Okay, now we've got our, our dual wardrobes here on both sides of the Samsung TV. These are 4K smart TVs on, on this Essex. You're gonna have plenty of drawer space this is going to be where you're going to put your Blu-ray player, DVD player, satellite receiver. And then you're going to have plenty of drawer space here. And again, all soft closing drawers, okay? Point out this motion sensor here. They're scattered throughout the coach. Uh, when you set your security alarm, if you're out, those motion sensors will detect if somebody's in the coach. Uh, you can also adjust the settings so that if you have pets, it's not gonna pick up your pets walking around in the coach. We've got a king size sleep number mattress. We do have windows on both sides. I've got the blinds down right now. You've got a wireless charging pad on both sides of the bed. 
on each of the nightstands, and then there's storage on both sides as well. One thing that keeps standing out as I'm walking around is just the craftsmanship on the woodwork here. As you can see, everything is done by hand. They, they do all the coats. One person does each coach uh, so that they match. Um, when you're doing stains, when you're doing all your finishes, if you're not putting the same amount of pressure down, it can, they can look different. And that's why when they start one, they finish one. Um, makes it really nice, really beautiful woodwork. Here under the bed, you're gonna have your two extra chairs and the two extra leaves for the uh, booth dinette extension there. Or you can use this. A lot of folks will just leave this stuff at home if they're not gonna need it and they'll you know, use this for storage, so. I like the decor, looks really nice. Turn on all the lights in here. All right, so as we look straight ahead, you're gonna see you have your vanity. 110 outlet in there. You have access for your KIB electronics up here. Here you're gonna have some more wardrobe space. And then you're gonna have your safe back around the corner there. Again, plenty of drawers. And then under the sink, you're gonna have a few drawers here as well. Make really good use of the space that they have. Newmar is really good about doing that. Plenty of room under here for all your cleaning supplies. And then again, a couple more drawers on this side. All right. Um, there's a nice deep cabinet here. Uh, use it for you know, many, many things, I guess. You could do linens, you can do just bigger items because it's much taller, much deeper. You're gonna have your exit escape door here. Again, this comes in really handy. Hopefully you never have to use it, but if you're ever in a situation where you can't get out that front door, this is where you would get out. Uh, you pull this panel off after the door's open. There's a ladder that flops down. I uh, would show you, but again, it's really windy out there. I really don't wanna open that door right now. You're gonna have your residential shower. You've got your shampoo, conditioner, and body wash dispensers. This one was ordered with the flip down seat. Hand laid tile down on the bottom. You've got two different, you've got the nice rain shower, shower head up here. You've got the wand. This does have the aquamizer system right here. So basically you can turn that on. It'll circulate the water. When it gets hot, it'll light up and you know that uh, the water's ready to use so you're not wasting any fresh water. Okay, we've got three. Um, oh, here is our washer dryer. So I almost forgot that. The dryer is a two, 220 volt dryer, just like you would have at home. Some of the other models would have a 110. Uh, these Whirlpools um, on the high-end new Mars are going to be 220. All right, so in case you're wondering, this has 105 gallons of fresh water. It's got 80 gallons of gray and 60 gallons of black tank capacity. I'm going to close this up. I'm going to Go ahead and walk you guys outside now that we've done a little bit of this. Oh, I forgot to, let's see if it works now. Hey, look, now that we got power, <laughs> it actually works. I like how they 
put that face on there so you can't tell it's a dishwasher. It just blends really well together. I love this decor. This has the Alito decor and the pearl glazed maple, which I really think is a really nice look. It's got the, the gray up here. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but up here, you've got the same material that you have on your booth dinette and your sofas. Really nice, classy touch. And then we'll go outside and uh, I'll walk you around in the wind for a minute. You can see the alarm works. I set the alarm earlier, and uh, as soon as we open the door, it set it off. As we walk out here, I want to point out a couple things here. So right here, you're going to have your main battery disconnect, your step well lighting, which lights up this the steps as you're going up at night, and then you've got your compartment, outdoor compartment locks. Cool feature on these Essex, it's with the hydraulic steps. They've got sensors on them, so when they're coming out, if they hit anything, they sense anything, they actually stop. You can climb up and down there. If there's a curb up here, it'll stop there so you don't hit the curb and you can still walk in and out of the coach. Beautiful Riviera exterior. I love this color. It's a lot of black, gray, and white. You have your keyless entry and your doorbell. This also lights up. You can see we have our Alcoa aluminum wheels and Michelin tires. These are 365 70s on two 22 and a half inch wheels. Important to note right here, a lot of coaches on the slide outs, they don't really paint this. It's just one solid color. Uh, Newmar and their high end coaches, you get this masterpiece finish. And they even do the sides of the slide, which is really, really elegant. You've got your awnings, you've got your door awning up there, your two Nova Girards up top, and your window awnings as well. So you can see from the windows, these are seamless windows, frameless windows. Really classy look. This does have dual fuel, so you can fuel on either side. Here's one of your docking lights that are gonna be scattered throughout the side here. Oh, let me unlock those compartments. All right, here is our outdoor Dometic refrigerator freezer. Nice feature on this is that you can set it up as a refrigerator and a freezer or vice versa. You can do both freezers, both refrigerators. Just set it up for depending on what you're going to be carrying. Additional storage shelf up top. And then here is our first of three trays. This is a full pass through tray on this. They do hold 1,000 pounds each, and they go in both directions here, so you don't have to be climbing in and out of the, the compartments down there. You can see this one also has the additional shelving up atop top there. All right. Now, before I slide this out too far, I want to point out again the star foundation you can see down in here, you can see the frame. Their star foundation is something that they add on after they get the chassis. Just gives you a quieter, smoother ride. It's a 
keeps the, the coach square. Make sure that all the compartments open and close. Your doors. This last tray here is going to be a manual tray. It's not a pass through because on the other side you're going to have your Oasis hydronic heating. Down here you're going to have a couple 110 outlets. Your intervac central vac system. This will be where you dump out the bag and there's also an attachment port right there. So if you want to vacuum out the bottom of your coach. All right, back to this side again. A uh, couple things, not just the TV, but the way the lighting's here, I really want to show how nice that paint is on the side of the slide. And we have our exterior TV with Bose sound bar. You've got, you can go from your TV to your dash radio. So if you want to play your, uh, whatever's on your dash radio out of the blue, uh, your Samsung or Bose sound bar, sorry. There's also a 110 outlet right there on the side. Right here in this last big compartment is just your tool storage. Water tanks behind there. Again, they don't just uh, close it off and not give you something. They actually give you a little bit of storage there, which is good use of space. You've got your marker light and your docking light right there. If we come around here, you can see we have this is a passive steer tag axle. It's a 45 foot coach. This axle is cut. It's got an eight degree cut. It'll actually turn as you're backing up, as you're turning around in the parking lot. It makes handling um, and tight, uh, parking in tight spots a breeze. Okay, in this compartment, you're gonna have your def fluid. So this will be your def fill. Back up here, you can see here, this is gonna be your Spartan emergency suspension fill. So you take the cap off, This, let's say your air ride system goes down, it's not functioning properly, they can actually take an air hose if they come to tow you. They can put air in here and they can fill your bags through here, which is a really nice feature. All right, here you're gonna have your two chassis batteries. Two chassis batteries, main disconnects. You're gonna have your air dryer and your uh, water separator in the back there. I like how they cover this up. Right under there is your particulate filter, all part of the uh, mission system. They do a really nice job of hiding it. Back here, you can see on this rear cap, they do a really nice job of basically putting it all together. You've got your backup camera, your 360 camera right here midway up. This has a 20,000 pound towing capacity. So you've got your receiver here. You've got your seven pin connector right here. And there's also an airline connection. So if you have an Air Force One braking system on your tow vehicle. And then here's an additional connector in case your tow vehicle has, a, if you're pulling a stacker and it's got a camera, you can hook up to there. All right, right back here, you're gonna have Big Red. This is a 15 liter Cummings, 605 horse. This is on the Spartan K3 chassis. Mentioned it earlier, 1,950 foot-pounds of torque. Easy access to your engine, oil, your transmission. You've got a quick connect right here for an air hose. This one's got the, uh, not that it needs it, but it's got the extra large flux capacitor on this one. Such a big engine, you don't think you need it, but you never know when, you, you know, when you're gonna wanna use that. Up top here on the top left, you can see there that's a vent. That's fresh, that's to bring in fresh air. You've got your side mount radiator. And you can also feel your def on the driver's side. So you can feel on both sides. 
Under here is just a storage area for your sewer hose. Keeps it separate from everything else. All right, here in the wet bay, you can see this has the man and block system, which is really nice feature. If you happen to get a water leak somewhere in the coach, you can shut off certain parts, uh, cut off the water there so it doesn't, uh, you don't have to go without water completely. You've got a 30 foot water hose on a power reel. You got a hot water tap out here. This does come with the SantaCon uh, macerator. And I like what they've done now. I don't know if you can see here, but they've added additional layer of protection to the hose in case you're dragging it um, in and out of the coach. It also has a manual dump here for your valves if you need to do them. You've got a touch screen out here, which allows you to turn on your water pump, turn on your auto fill as well. And you can run your lights back here. Okay, paper towel holder, full house water filter system. You got your outdoor shower. You got your low point drains for hot and cold. And then here's your gray and black uh, low point drains as well. Really nice, clean. I like how they keep it. That exhaust down there is going to be for your Oasis. Here you're going to have your 50 amp power cord. It is on a reel, so you can just push button right here. There's also a generator on and off button right up there. Again, they, they, they give you lots of options. You don't have to run around to the other side of the coach or go inside if you want to turn on your water pump or your generator. Everything is handy right here. Here's a 30 amp plug right here. That's a 30 amp plug in case you want to share some power with your neighbors. You got a stacker trailer and it runs off 30 amps. You can plug it in there as well. Here's the Oasis Chinook hydronic heating system. This will run your hot water and also provide heat for the coach. And then now we're to the backside of the storage tray compartments. And again, 1,000 pounds of carrying capacity. It'll hold plenty of, of luggage, items, golf clubs, whatever you want to carry in there. Okay. If you're going to do a sleeping bag, I wouldn't do it on this one. I'd do it on the wider one. Of course, you only need that if you get in trouble like I tend to do. Here are your eight house batteries on slide tray. The slide tray makes it really easy if you need to change out your batteries. All right. Here we're gonna have a window windshield washer here, a squeegee. So you can use that to uh, wipe all the bugs off of your windshield before you hit the road. You're gonna have some spare fuses on this side. Obviously lots of fuses here. Here's your push button for your 12.5K Onan generator. turn it on and off out here as well you can see we have another hot water line right there and a quick connect for the air just to the left of that as well here are your two air horns that's how you keep your neighbors happy you you know run those at about 5 a.m. when you get up Let me pull this back in here.
This is your exhaust right here for your generator. One thing I want to point out on the front before I conclude here is that they've done a really nice job with this front cap. Your, your windshield wipers are back here, so you don't see them. They're not getting constantly beat on by the sun, by the bugs. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful front end here. You got your, your little lights down here, LED lights, bus down mirrors. So again, you got backup camera, turn, turn signal cams, and your 360 view as well. This is the uh, Riviera exterior, as I said. If you need a bunk model coach with big horsepower, give me a call. We can get you into this Essex. We can get you into a King Air that we currently have. Uh, feel free to call, text, or email me as needed. If you want me to FaceTime you and look at a coach, I can do that with you. Si hablo español, me pueden hablar al 720. 276 42 41. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next week.